Two years ago, I worked on a wall panel that controls the entire house, including security cameras. So I think it outside the box, I had to do this. This and this looks like an ordinary TV that has a custom USB frame that's running to microcomputer. I incorporated this television into a touch screen. I wanted to do something even more unique, so I did this. So I created a 3D floor plan of my house that's like I can turn on the fan, see if doors are open. If this is flashing, that means somebody's walking near my house. If the garage doors are open or shut. This is the room I'm currently in right now. So if I start tapping that, that turns the light on and off. Turn off the family room. Second floor, my son's game room. I can see what game he's playing by tapping onto this. To show me what games he's playing on the Xbox and how long he's had the game on. I can see the temperature in certain room. Tap that car. Interactive car control is added to my 3D floor plan. I want to show you guys how my cameras interact with my smart home. As you can see here in my garage, I left the light off, so let me turn it back on. Since I'm using a special USB display, it allows me to do things such as zoom in. On my 3D display, my icons are interactive, so if you touch it, you toggle it, but if you hold it, you get more information, such as this vacuum cleaner. I can see when it was used last, I can even change how it cleans. I put temperature sensors in most rooms, which allows me to use climate control that helps me save on utilities. I incorporated shades into my display, but these are not smart shades. They use a remote that operates with RC, and I copied that signal with Broadlink. Show me the 3D display on the family room TV. I use Raspberry Pi PWs on all of my other televisions so I can display my smart display anywhere in my house. How about we go have some real fun inside of my home theater media room? While we head over, remember that Zigbee, Z-Wave, RTSP, and local hubs do not require internet access. So when I was doing a refresh on my home theater, I wanted to create something where I didn't have to talk to Google or I didn't have to get up, flip the switches. I went ahead and took my note, reprogrammed the stylus so when I double click, it'll turn lights on and off. I need the 3D floor plan on the theater TV. Yes, sir. Here's your theater floor plan. I added voice assistant. We don't want to touch anything anyway, right? I'm using a Connect V3 camera that allows me to use motion control to control my home. I tapped into the control unit of a power projector screen, added Arduino and Bluetooth so I can make my screen smart. This recent home had a lawn irrigation system that I was super excited to have until the county told me I had to get it serviced every year and that was like $200, not including if something went wrong. So I went ahead and had the irrigation system removed. Then I went ahead and installed this Orbit Beehive water relay valve. Turn on the sprinkler system. This whole smart setup was less than $60 and now I never have to worry about paying the state again to service the irrigation system. It operates on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and now it's part of my smart home. And if you've been following the channel, it wouldn't be complete unless I added it to my infrared smart screen. As you can see here, there's an animated GIF that shows that I'm using it now. Also incorporated the statuses inside of my wall panels. Since this whole setup is smart, I don't have to turn it on and off manually. It'll check the forecast and adjust accordingly. Let's talk about cameras and security. Not everybody wants to pull out their phone, so why don't you incorporate it into your watch? In this example, I have access to all my cameras directly through my watch. I set up programming that if I open the garage camera, the light automatically comes on. Also set up programming that if you set off any of my motion sensors, it automatically sends video to my watch so I don't have to manually pull it up. I'm always thinking about the future, but live in the moment. I'm in the race for your love. Ain't no other opponents. Who's in my driveway? Wait the Here's an example of how I use new technology and added it's an Android stereo running Tasker, Utter, and TinyCam Pro. Look real close. I'll go ahead and wave for you. I'm gonna go ahead and start waving. This gave me smart technology. I also have this setup that if you stole a stereo or the vehicle, it'll ping the first available Wi-Fi network and send me the exact location. Here's an example of reprogramming your fingerprint scanner. Index finger in this example turns on the garage light. That's real fun with it. What if we use your middle finger? <laughs> I am giving you the middle finger. Hello 
sir. Welcome to Big Black. Can I help you with anything? Turn off the garage light. Okay, sir. I will turn off the garage light. Turn on the garage light. Hello, sir. Welcome to your Z51 Corvette. Is there anything I can do for you? Turn off the garage light. Okay, sir. I will turn off the garage light. Turn on the garage light. Welcome to your Camaro RS. Is there anything I can do to help? Turn off the garage light. You have left home in the Corvette. Ensure the home alarm is set if no one is home. Is the house alarm on? House alarm is off. 